Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the 10 best applications that I found for the month of August 2022. And this is actually the Pixel 6a right here. So for anyone wanting to take a look at Google's latest budget Pixel, you can go and check out my impressions video and I will be soon doing a full review video on this guy as well. So if you guys could subscribe and hit that bell icon, I would really appreciate it. A lot of people always ask me where I get my wallpaper from, so I will leave a link down below in the description so you guys can download that, as well as the links to all the applications. So the first app on the list is called Leaf, and this is an add-on for KWGT. The variety of widgets inside of here is truly incredible. If you're looking for a really nice weather widget, there is numerous different themes and styles to choose from inside of here. And there's also these really nice menus right here, which have all your favorite shortcuts and applications in order to get quick access. My personal favorite ones are just the clocks. I love the Android 12, Android 13 clock widget. I love that sort of material design. However, there's not much customization. So I actually use one of the clock templates inside of here. And that's the one I'm using on my home screen. I just customize the colors a little bit to my liking because it was green inside the pack, but there's so many different beautiful widgets to choose from. App number two on the list is a wallpaper app. Wallpaper apps are one of my favorite because, I mean, the wallpaper kind of sets the whole tone of your smartphone device. So you really want a nice, high quality, beautiful, elegant wallpaper, and that is where wall fever comes in. Inside of this app, you can see a lot of these wallpapers inherit the material you theming and design overall. And so again, it does have that sort of pixely feel that the last application had, but I just really like all the wallpapers in here. They're just really vibrant very punchy, very sharp. You can click on a wallpaper and actually scroll down and see some information inside of here. So you can view the entire color palette. So if you're looking to replicate this or set up a theme across your home screen, all consisting of the same colors, you can go ahead and grab the hex code right there and apply it to your home screen. If you don't wanna scroll through the entire list of wallpapers, you can jump over to the collection section. This is just a part of the app which groups the wallpapers together to make it a little bit easier to sort of see the wide variety of different designs. And if you guys are looking for any promo codes for these paid applications, you can go check out my Instagram. I will be revealing some promo codes for you guys completely free. You just need to go ahead and check my story out and give me a follow and you're good to go. So I'll leave my profile username just right here or you can get a link in the description. Out number three is notification shortcuts. This app sets a quick menu inside of your notification dropdown and it will have some of your favorite shortcuts or applications, which can make it super easy and quick to access them. So inside of here, I have Apple Music, Chrome, my camera application, Instagram, and the Play Store. Jumping in here, this is where you can actually enable it as well as add the app. So you can actually change the number of columns. So if you want more apps or less, you can do that. You can also change the icon size. It's a pretty simple app, but I really like the idea of it because it just gives you that quick menu with a simple swipe down and then you can jump into one of your favorite applications. App number four is Starry AI. So many of you out there will have heard of Dolly. That's a AI which puts together images based off of text inputs. And this is an app which actually kind of does a similar thing. So as soon as you jump into the application, you're greeted with this create section here. You have an input box and this is where you type in the image you're looking for. So you can realistically type in anything you want Whatever you want to see, whatever artwork or whatever NFT you want to make or whatever graphic, basically you click on one of these theming options here. So it can be a little bit more abstract and dreamlike, or it can be a bit more professional. So you can choose there and then you just enter whatever you'd like. So I want to see a yo-yo on Mars with a monkey. Pretty random. Now we're just going to go ahead and hit create create artwork, and now we do have to wait a little bit while it generates the image, but then it will give us a notification once it's done. Out number five is Fuelio. So fuel prices are skyrocketing. They are pretty high. They're coming down a little bit now, but it's really a good idea to keep track of where you can get the lowest priced fuel and to keep track of how much you're spending, your mileage, how much it's gonna cost to travel from one place to another to make sure it fits within your budget. So this is where Fuelio comes in. It's actually a really great app. I'm using it myself. And inside of here, you can add in your car, you can add in the exact model, type in your miles per gallon, you can type in the fuel prices, and it will also go ahead and do a search and find the cheapest prices and whatever. But the coolest part is this calculator section. So you can type in the, the trip journey distance you're gonna be doing, the price per liter, so I think it's about 1.8 right now. Then you type in your car's fuel consumption, which might be 
40 miles per gallon, hit calculate, and it's gonna tell me that trip will cost me 20 pounds and 46 pence. On this page right here, you can see it lists 27 gas stations nearby, and it tells me all the prices as well as how far they are away from me. Out number six is Elias. So this is an application where you can go ahead and sell various t-shirts or designer branded clothing or shoes. And this is a global store, so you just need to make one listing and it will actually go ahead and list your item globally. So anyone in the world can go ahead and purchase it, pay for the shipping costs, and you can make money on your designer products. I really love the app interface. It has a very retro vibe and it kind of makes me think of nothing, you know, like nothing, the phone. That's always such a weird thing to say. It reminds me of nothing. Great app, guys. No, but really, inside of here, you can search for shoes which are trending. You can search ones that have just dropped or even upcoming shoes that aren't even out yet. So it's a pretty great way of getting your hands on some of those rare items as well as listing globally to make money. Out number seven is this one here called Designer. Yeah, but basically, this app is filled with templates full of beautiful graphics. You can use these templates to make business cards or birthday cards or to spice up your marketing in terms of your social media pages. It really can do a lot. And this is a really nice tool to use for people who aren't really that amazing at making graphics, or maybe they just wanna make them on the go quickly while on their smartphone. And I can honestly say this is an app you should check out. Once you're actually in the app, you choose what you wanna make. So if you wanna make a business card, you click on this business card section here, and then you can go ahead and choose one of the templates. So let's go ahead and choose one right here. I kind of like this one and then you jump into it. You can change all the information up, add various graphics. You can also go ahead and edit your images, remove backgrounds. There's a lot of tools in here to do things. And you can also add various animations as well as additional pages. So if you want to make like a whole book of really nice, beautiful graphics or a PowerPoint presentation, you can go ahead and do that on your phone within this app and it is free. App number eight is Volve. I'm really a big fan of reading, catching up with the latest news on business tech marketing and i find it can be time consuming so this app actually takes all those really long articles that are frustrating to read and narrows it down to an unbelievable nine second article so you can actually read really important information really precise information in nine seconds flat and when you jump inside this app there's a super clean interface with these cards these really nice backgrounds and wallpapers and you can upvote them you simply scroll down to get to the next article and at the side here, you can choose all the topics that are shown inside of the feed. So if you're looking specifically for world news or pop culture or tech, you can go ahead and put that in and then all these cards will be related to that topic. And obviously, if you want to read the full article, there is a button, check it out, which goes and leads you to the entire thing. So you don't just have to read this short paragraph. App number nine is App in the Air. And this is a travel assistant and flight tracker in the one application. So. If you're traveling abroad, if you're maybe a little bit overwhelmed and you need to keep track of all the timings, all of those very specific information about the flight gate, the actual boarding number, all the information you might need as well as your seat number or keep track of your boarding pass itself, you can store it all together inside of this app and it will actually tell you the flight, the gate, the terminal you need to be in, when it's boarding, when it's about to take off and it will completely track it in here. There's also even a map, so even when you're on the flight, you can actually track the progress and actually see when you're going to land, as well as if there's any delays. It will also give you travel advice as well as notifications, depending on if there's any issue with your flight or your travels. And the best part is if you're looking to book hotels really cheap or even flights, you can actually book them directly inside of the app. The last app on the list is Photo Time. So I am a passionate photographer. I love Golden Hour. It just makes everything look better. If you don't know what that is, Golden Hour is when the sun is setting or the sun is rising and you get a really nice sort of gold reddish tint in the sky and it kind of makes things just look a little bit better, a little bit nicer. And something super annoying is the sun rises and sets at different points of time throughout the entire year. So it can be kind of hard to keep track of. Inside of this app, it tells you the day length, the solar noon, the local time, as well as blue hour, sunrise, golden hour in the morning time, as well as the evening and you can actually type in the specific date and time that you're looking to shoot at, and it's gonna tell you whether that aligns with golden hour. One of my personal favorite features is, it will actually tell you the perfect place around you to go to get the best lighting conditions during those specific hours. But honestly, if you're looking for a really great app for tracking sunlight times, and if you are a photographer, this can be super handy, so go check it out. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my top 10 Android apps of August for 2022. The months are flying by and I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. I'm doing a review video of the Pixel 6a right now. I've already done my impressions video and I can honestly say I really, really am a big fan of this device. If you're looking for more information on it, remember to go check out my videos as well as subscribe down below for future updates. But that is it, guys. I will see you later. Peace.